All right, guys. We're doing a VCT solenoid repair on a 5.4 liter Triton V8 three valve. Um, we're going to start with the easiest side first, even though uh, the codes that it's throwing are for the uh, bank one, which is uh, over here. But it's, as you can tell, a lot more buried. We're going to have to do a lot more stuff. I wanted to go over real quick one thing. Um, the power steering pump bracket that holds the reservoir on. You have an 18 millimeter socket or a bolt that's down here. There are no videos on how to remove that. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Get you one of these from Harbor Freight. It's not, not too expensive. One of these ratchets that have the two bends in it. And with an extension... And, of course, after you get it out so far, you have to take the extension off. But once you get that off, uh, out so far, you just put your 18 millimeter socket on and keep cranking on it. That's how you get it out. You don't... Alright, so we got our wiring harness off. Um, just um, disconnect all these. The Some of these clips you have to pull out on. That one... the towards the back on the throttle body I don't know if you can see it but it's way way back there it's a little tricky you do have to use a pick and I'll show you what I mean 90 degree pick you pull out the um, tab it's red bright red the same color as, as this here you can't miss it pull that out and then use the back of this don't use the point but use the bend to press up to release that tab and it'll come right off Everything else came off pretty easy, um, but all I did was I pushed it <clears throat> back here out of the way, and now I'm able to get to all my bolts. Um, I did have to actually take this bolt off here, um, uh, simply because I didn't want to disconnect, didn't want to break that bracket that it was it was on. So I took it off, but you can zip these off with your impact um, if you have one. Or you know, using uh, a drill to do it, but coils have to come out. Like I said, these are seven millimeter. These are eight. So we're going to do that now, and then we should be able to get to the VCT solenoid. There is an eight millimeter like this right here in the back, and that's going to be difficult. And um, I may have to use a uh, flex head uh, ratchet on that uh, ratchet wrench. But I'll, I'll let you know. And also some of these that are down through here on the bottom. They're going to be a little tricky. But like I said, I'll let you know what I use. If I uh, I do any little little tricks, I'll, I'll let you know. And uh, when we get this off, we'll see how this VCT solenoid screen looks. I anticipate it being pretty bad because there's a lot of varnish and oil on uh, when I took the... PCV hose off here so we'll find out though so as you can see we have everything uh, pretty much apart now it is going to be a job to finagle this out um, I've been trying for about five minutes and it's like the worst game of Tetris ever but uh, we'll get it done. It does look pretty rough in there. If you can kind of tell. That'll come into focus. A lot of varnish on the uh, solenoid there. So I anticipate the other one to be just as bad. But um, to break the seal, I just used a pry bar what I call the persuader and um, we'll get this out of here and pull the VCT solenoid and we'll kind of show you what the screens in it look like alright guys we finally got it out as you can see it looks rough uh, this truck has, has uh, not been treated well and they said they ran high mileage oil Castrol GTX high mileage oil um, the, uh, 
there's a lot of grit and grime down in this engine. Uh, you can see it on the uh, solenoid there. It's also on the front cover here. But um, a little tidbit for you guys. Don't take this. This is a T25. Don't take that out without putting a rag here. Okay? If this goes into the front cover, you're done. You're going to have to take the front engine off or go fishing. So, um, it does have a retainer, but you know, don't trust that retainer. Um, so we can pull this out here, and you can see it's missing a lot of screens. It doesn't look good. Um, so even though this wasn't the one that was throwing the code, yeah, it definitely needed replaced. All right, we're getting ready to go back together here. We got our new VCT solenoid installed. Um, I just wanted to go over something real quick. That right there, where the front cover meets the head of the engine, you're going to have to put some uh, high temp permatex there. And what I'm planning to do is actually slide the uh, valve cover in, line up the bolts, lift, and then put the permatex there. Now we've already got our uh, new gasket installed and it came with new rubber grommets but I mean <clears throat> they still have some uh, texture to them they're not rigid so I'm not going to bother with that but check out this cover I mean look at that look at this gunk I mean that is uh, that's rough stuff right there so I am going to try to clean this out a little bit uh, best I can and before I put that back on but yeah you'll also need you know to put it the the permatex down here as well just so so you know I've already scraped up here I just didn't want anything to fall into the engine so what I, I'll do is I'll also put the rag here and scrape down there and then put new permatex